As a veteran journalist, even David Sanger did not see this headline coming. Donald Trump wins the presidential election and not long after, news of Russian hackers broke. The people who were unwilling to talk to us during the election because they thought they knew how it would turn out were suddenly willing to talk to us and tell a very different story once they saw how it actually did turn out. The New York Times national security correspondent came to Cal to speak on the issue of Russian hacking and its challenges to American democracy. The speech is a part of a collaboration between the Center for Long-Term Cybersecurity and School of Information. Um, the fact of the matter remains that cyber is the newest and to my mind the most exciting new realm in foreign policy and national security studies. Sanger was a member of the team that won the 2017 Pulitzer Prize for International Reporting for his work on how the Russian hack unfolded. He says cybersecurity changes the game as large and small world powers are on the offense. And then there are countries like Russia which have used cyber in such innovative ways that we didn't see coming. In more recent news, Sanger says that the leaks at the Democratic National Convention that later made its way to WikiLeaks website should be alarming. Unlike Watergate, he says intruders did not need to break through a door. And while we don't know yet if they influenced the outcome of the election or even many votes, I think it's fair to say that what we've learned in the past year tells you they probably did have greater influence on the outcome than the Watergate burglars did in 1972. For one attendee, the issue of hacking and elections hits home. It's been all over the news for weeks and it's definitely a huge concern. I'm from Germany originally and so there have been some some links to that. Russia could have been involved in like trying to manipulate the German election so I think that's a huge issue for democracy. Here at the School of Information, Sanger says now the world faces a different problem. How do we balance cyber freedom with cybersecurity. Reporting for Cal TV News, I'm Thomas Manglonia.